Hey guys, JMM Review here. Before I play the video, I think it's probably wise to put it into context. This video was actually made in September 2011, so that's practically the best part of two years ago. And this was really whenever I first started playing uh, Minecraft online. I made a bunch of Minecraft videos and never really uploaded them, I don't know why. I think I made about five videos and this is probably one of the last videos I made but again like I didn't upload any of this. It was just strange because I actually went to the trouble of like narrating it and editing it and the video was just sat on my computer never to be uploaded. I don't know, I'm not sure what happened back then. But I've started playing Minecraft again, there are a few uh, Minecraft players on the forum and someone was asking me about uh, a little subway that I built so I thought this video would be relevant to upload and kind of show it's for really to show Lenrat what the subway was like in my last server and again putting this into context this video was made um, after a, another video I made where Greenfire uh, played a little bit of a prank on us and um, this was my payback to him so because I didn't upload the last video where um, I show, like, I've shown what Greenfire had did to me and the server because of that I didn't upload this video because it wouldn't have made any sense to anyone so instead I thought I'd just explain what happened and um, just let you guys watch it but it shows off a, a little subway I built in about a couple of days and um, there's a nice little underwater bit that I wish I showed more of it. The server's no longer available, so but it's nice to have this video of it. And um, before I let you watch the video as well, I just want to say that if there are any Minecraft fans out there who want to actually um, join a server, um, come on over to the website and uh, talk to Greenfire32, and you may get whitelisted. So I'll play the video and let you guys watch it. Hey guys, JMM Review here, and I'm bringing you another. Minecraft video. Um, this is me getting my own back on uh, Greenfire um, because of his shenanigans uh, with putting the signs all over the place and pretending it wasn't him. So here's my um, payback really. I've put up a sign saying a chilling wind has put out your fire. Which is funny because his name is Greenfire so it's put out the fire in Greenfire. And here's like where Greenfire's fireplace is and then I put a little sign here saying you can hear a faint wind blowing from down below which sounds like a fart but it's not a fart it's the wind that put his fire out so I'm gonna bust his nether rack and this is all <laughs> I thought this was pretty funny actually this is all underneath his house I like built a tunnel underneath his um, fireplace and uh, I don't know if he's discovered it yet or oh shit or who it was that discovered it, but I know that someone has definitely been in here. Um, <clears throat> I also put a sign there's Greenfire's house. I also put um, one under Hannah's house. She has a like a double fireplace, which is quite far down this tunnel. But I'm not going to go down there. And I've put one near my house. And I just um, put a sign at Matt's house just to say, you know, that look at, look for the signs kind of thing. So this house is far too far away for me to do anything. So this is my house in here, it's kind of just hidden, there's my bunk beds and stuff, usually I'd have this like cordoned off but I just left it open, um, just hidden in the rock really, and I wrote, um, the dirt in your house is unbearable, tidy it up, uh, just because uh, it's my, my it's just, like if you dig away all this you would find it, so I've almost made it as if, um, just the way Greenfire did, and he put like a sign outside his own house too, just to cover his tracks kind of thing, so no one would uh, suspect him. So I don't see him there. I'm sure they know it's me, but anyway, it's pretty funny. So here's what I've built. A little um this was all done in about I think a two days maybe of playing it probably too much. A little um railway kinda underground subway station type thing. I don't know. I was kind of uh later on I was kind of inspired by Planet of the Apes, uh the original uh, the second one where they kind of discover this underground um, okay here we go, kind of bust underground railway station that's uh, all kind of overgrown and stuff so that was my inspiration um, the reason I know someone has been in here already is because they've tampered with my uh, trap I set 
I have to plug this up. Oh, yeah, the water there. I um I left the TNT charge back there and a little switch here, and I wrote um a sign saying, uh, "Do not press." No, really, don't. And someone's obviously pressed and kind of wrecked the track, so I'll fix that when I'm here too. But that was a funny little trap. I thought that I knew someone would have to press it eventually. Um, on foot. So here we go. Here's the little uh, station I've made. Kind of two-way tracks. Both of these lead to nowhere, but I don't know. Maybe later I'll uh, make them actually go somewhere. And I've just put up some paintings, just kind of like, depending on what texture pack, they'll be different. But it's kind of like subway posters. And I've left some clues. First is uh, some say there is gold near that cliff top, and then that cliff top has some large trees. And I kind of thought, this is kind of like Zelda clues, you know you would talk to someone in a town in Zelda and they'd be like, oh the Goron Mountain, you would need some, I hear you would need super strength to navigate that or whatever. And uh, obviously they're talking about getting like a strength uh, bracelet or something like that, but I kind of had to make the clues a little bit cryptic, so. Um, and I left this so that you can... In theory, yeah, you should be able to take the cart right back up to where you start at. Whoa, it's kind of, I don't know, when I'm playing online, uh, the minecart just seems to lag about the place, really. It's weird. But it works, so even if it is a little laggy. Um, so I'm just going to cut to near where the cliff top is, really, just to show you the final part. Okay, so this is our houses are just over there. I don't know if it's going to render. Yeah, Greenfire's house is more or less behind that tree. Our slime farm is in there. And um, Matt's house is in there. Oh yeah, I left a little sign outside his house just saying some strange signs have popped up. <clears throat> so, uh, and it's the um, tree top, the cliff top thing is right opposite him. And I'll just sort of make my way with <clears throat> Um You can see a little, I've left a little torch up here as well. It's actually a ridiculously big tree, so I didn't, I, I don't know, maybe this clue was too cryptic and they couldn't, like the people who discovered that little part, Subway didn't find it, but... So that's the tree and people I was thinking would be, maybe get up to this far and I don't know, I thought maybe this is too cryptic, but then this is supposed to be like a staircase that leads up into the tree. And I've put a couple of little paintings up and stuff. And that's really it, you found the gold, I've just left uh, some gold here, but I'm starting to think that no one has found this yet because they probably would have read it, that gold. Unless um, it was Hannah who found it and she didn't take it because she can like spawn as much gold as she wants, kind of. But that's really my little payback and green fire for setting up that little uh, thing for me. So I thought I'd just share that with you guys. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.